God for this time together. Dear God, we're so thankful that we get to meet together to learn more about you. We pray that um, this would be a good time together and that um, we would learn a lot about you together with our families. We pray that you would bless our families and keep everybody healthy and safe. Be with those who might be hurting or sick. We pray that they would feel better soon. And please be with anybody that we haven't seen in a while. We pray that we would be able to see them again soon. We, we thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I hope you've been practicing your memory verse at home. Let's say it all together. I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. I will not be shaken. Psalm 16, 8. So now I thought we would play a game with our memory verse where we use our hands. So we're going to do some hand motions to help us remember the verse. So first it says, I will keep my eyes. So keep, when I think of that word, I think of grabbing something and keeping it in my hand. So when we say the word keep, we're going to grab it in our hand and pull it tight to us. So I will keep my eyes. We're going to point to our eyes when we say that word. So, I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. What hand motion could we use for Lord? Well, the Lord lives in heaven. So, we can point up to remember the Lord is in heaven. So, let's try again. I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. I will not be shaken. So when we get to the word shaken, we're going to shake our body side to side like this. Okay, are you ready? We're going to try the whole verse together using our hand motions. I will keep my eyes always on the Lord. I will not be shaken. Psalm 16, 8. Good job, everyone. Okay, so today we are going to be learning all about how Jesus is our good shepherd. Shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd's job is? Yes, that's right. A shepherd takes care of the sheep. They feed the sheep. They make sure their sheep are safe and protected. Okay, now we're going to play a game with the shepherd and his sheep. So for this game, you're going to need a shepherd. So you can use any little person that you might have at home. And then you need some green paper or a green fabric for the grass and some blue paper. Or you could use blue tape, anything blue for water. And you're going to need some gates or you could even use blocks if you don't have gates at your house. And you need a rock or a wooden block. And last, you're going to need some cotton balls for sheep. I, I have six cotton balls that we're going to be using. So this is our good shepherd. And the shepherd, he knows all of his sheep. He knows each one of them by name. And the sheep know their shepherd. They know his voice. And they follow the shepherd. They follow the shepherd and the shepherd leads them to water, to drink. He leads them to grass, to eat. Makes, he provides for them and makes sure they have everything that they need. And he makes sure that the sheep stay safe. So he'll lead them back into their gate so they can be safe. And then he closes the gate. He counts his sheep 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one sheep is missing. When one sheep is missing, the shepherd will leave his other sheep and he'll go and look for the sheep that is missing. And when he finds it, he celebrates and he's so happy. He'll carry it home to be with all his other sheep. So next, what we're gonna do is we are going to hide the sheep. So you can hide the sheep anywhere in your house. Little ones need to close their eyes maybe while the parents hide the sheep. And then when time is up, you can go and find your sheep. Okay, now it's time to find all of our lost sheep. Hmm, I wonder if it could be hiding under here. We found two sheep. One, two. I wonder where else the sheep could be hiding. Maybe in this basket? On that side. Here it is. Found another sheep. Now we have one, two, three sheep. Hmm, I wonder if this truck is hiding some sheep. There they are, we found two more sheep. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. But there's still one sheep that's missing. Hmm, I wonder what could be hiding under this little mouse. It's our last sheep. We found all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We found all of our sheep. Good job, everybody. Okay, so today we are going to be reading in the Bible and learning about how Jesus is our good shepherd and we are like his sheep. So our story is found on page 130 of your Bible. It's called The Good Shepherd. David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart that, he had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Remember, David loved God. Now, that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life, but God can take even the biggest mess and make it work for his plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David and gave, and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the whole world. And that king they're talking about, remember that king is Jesus. Jesus is going to come from David's family. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good, they, they might have been in the top 40 charts if they had been invented then. David's songs are like prayers. They are called psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the psalm chart, and it goes like this. This is David's special psalm that he wrote to God. God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in a soft green grass, in a meadow by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me, he keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I cannot hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, upbreaking, always and forever love will go there too. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and he would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he loved them. 
Another shepherd was coming. A greater shepherd. A greater shepherd than David? He would be called the Good Shepherd. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they always belonged, close to God's heart. Do you know who that Good Shepherd was? That's right, they're talking about Jesus, and we're going to be talking more about why Jesus is that Good Shepherd. Now we're going to do an activity that talks about how Jesus is our Good Shepherd. So David talked about how Jesus is our shepherd. Sometimes shepherds use special staffs, and these staffs are used to guide the sheep and make sure they stay safe. If one sheep starts to wander, might get lost, the shepherd will use the crook on their staff and pull the sheep back to safety. So that's kind of like what God does for us. He makes sure that we stay safe too. Now we're going to do a craft with a shepherd staff. So for this craft, what you need is just some brown paper. You might need two sheets of brown paper, a glue stick, some scissors, and you're going to need this worksheet with pictures on it. First thing we're going to do is we'll cut our pictures out. And you can have um, your mom or your dad help you with the cutting if you need help. Or you can try it all by yourself. I like to cut out all the picture parts first so it looks like this. And then I cut, I cut the lines. Cut out our pictures. The next thing we need to cut out is our staff. So that's when you're going to need the brown paper. And let's see, we're going to do a line like this. And that's the bottom of our staff. And then you're going to make something that kind of looks like a J. Curves like a hook. together to make the staff. Okay, now we have our staff. And remember, the staff is used to guide and protect God's sheep. So next we're going to take our pictures and we're going to be gluing these to the staff. The first picture we need is the sheep. Now, God is the shepherd, and we are like his sheep. God knows his sheep. He knows each one of them by name. God even knows all the number of hairs on your head. Could you count all those hairs on your head? That would take a long time. But God knows. God knows every hair on your head. And the sheep know their shepherd, and they know his voice. So that means we can have a relationship, a close relationship with God. So we're going to take our sheep and glue it to the staff. Next picture we have is of a meadow. The meadow has grass and water for the sheep. The sheep eat the grass and the water and the shepherd leads them there. So the shepherd makes sure the sheep have everything they need. And God gives us everything we need too. He, so God helps to take care of us. Just like the shepherd takes care of his sheep. So we have our sheep. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. Sheep, the meadow. And next we need this black. This one that's all black. David's psalm talked about a dark a dark valley. 
How do you feel if you're in the dark? You might feel afraid to be in the dark. But even when we're in the dark, we don't need to be afraid because we know that God is with us and He knows right where we are. So even when we go through hard times, God never leaves us. He's always with us. We have our sheep, the meadow, the dark valley. And next we need to find the heart. And the heart reminds us how much God loves us and fills our heart with happiness. And God's love is always going to stay with us through our whole life. And someday, even he, he, um, when we're in heaven with Jesus, God's love will be with us there too. So God's love is always with us. Alright, so we have our sheep, the meadow, the dark valley, and the heart to remind us of God's love for us. And the last one is of the cross. Cross. Now, the Bible says a good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. So when we wander away from God, just like sometimes sheep wander away from their shepherd, we cannot protect ourselves. Do sheep don't have, oops, sheep don't have sharp teeth or sharp claws that they can protect themselves, and we cannot protect ourselves from sin. So Jesus laid down his life. He died for our sins and he did that to bring us back where we're supposed to be to bring us back to God and that's why Jesus is called the good shepherd now we finished our staff remember this was from Psalm 23 you have the sheep meadow dark valley God's love, and remembering that Jesus is our good shepherd. He laid down his life for his sheep. Uh, dear God, we thank you for this special time we had together. Thank you for being our good shepherd, and thank you for taking care of us like a shepherd looks after your, his sheep. Jesus, you laid down your life for us, for your sheep, and we love you, We and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everyone, now it's time for a snack that you can have at your home. We are going to be making sheep with this paper plate. And we're going to be filling the plate with lots of yummy popcorn. So first, to make our sheep, you are going to need a paper plate, a piece of black paper, some googly eyes. You're going to need just one googly eye and a glue stick and a pair of scissors. First thing we're going to do is take the black paper and we're going to cut ovals for the legs. We need two ovals. Okay, we have one leg. Two legs. So we need the two ovals. Next we're going to make the sheep's face and it kind of looks like the shape of a glove. So you're going to need a little spot for the ear, kind of looks like where your thumb would go in the glove. And then an oval shape for the head. Okay, so we have the legs and we have his face. Next, we're going to glue the legs to the paper plate. So we're not going to cover the whole thing with glue, just the top. Like this, and stick it onto the plate. And hold it, make sure it sticks. Then put a little bit of glue, just like that. And hold it on the paper plate. Okay, now our sheep has two legs. And a sheep needs a face. So, just like the legs, we're not putting glue all over it, just at the edge, right here, right under the ear. And we're gonna put that on our plate and just hold it, and make sure it sticks. Okay, our sheep has face and two legs. Go 
What else does our sheep need? Needs an eye. So we're gonna put some glue on our googly eye. Or if you don't have googly eyes, you can draw an eye with a marker. And, oops, might have to take it off a little bit and stick it back on. Okay, our sheep is ready. Two legs, his face, and his eye. And now it's time for our snack. So this popcorn is going to be like his, his wool. And you're going to spread it all over your plate. And now you have a yummy snack to eat at home. Good job, everybody. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for um, learning with me, and I'll see you next time. This was Mission Kids at Mission of Grace Church. Bye.